Well, we're still at the Southwest Region NMRA Convention, which was held in Flagstaff. Right. And uh, we're heading out to a layout that wasn't actually part of the convention. It wasn't on the layout tour, but it's right here. Well, it's kind of in the neighborhood. You can get there from here. Yes, it's a lot of highway. <laughs> but this is uh, Cottonwood. Yes. Arizona. Oh, this is fun. And there's all these fun little communities in a cluster right here. This was our, our motel at Cottonwood. Right. Isn't that beautiful? It's it. This whole place is just so fun. There's uh, the Verde Canyon Railroad here, but this is Jerome. Oh, yes. The little ghost town up on the hill, mm -hmm. uh, kind of overlooking the whole area. Yes. Isn't that pretty? Oh, the whole thing's amazing. Oh, wow. There's a lot of fun businesses and stuff in Jerome, and one of the businesses is the Thunder Mesa Studio. Right. It's Dave's graphic art studio here. Oh, what a place for a studio. And he's built layouts in his studio. Oh, well, I don't blame me. <laughs> And Dave's Railroad is the very appropriately named Thunder Mesa Mining Company. Right. Now, it's not based on a prototype, well, you could say a prototype railroad is based on Disneyland. Of course, I, you know, I can see, well. <laughs> kind of based on kinda, Disneyland. Yeah, kind of. It's, it's that very whimsical amusement park, Disneyland Railroad. So I'm seeing both Thunder Mountain yeah. and its predecessor, uh, Nature's Wonderland. Nature's Wonderland. Nature's They're Wonderland. both here. Yes. It's because I was at both. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually old enough to remember uh, the old mine train ride, mine train through Nature's Wonderland, and I remember it very fondly. And I was, you know, of course, sad to see it go. I think it closed in 70, I want to say 77 or 78, and to make way for Big Thunder, which I also love. You know, because, you know, who doesn't love a fun roller coaster? through the Red Rocks in the Wild West. I mean, come on. Uh, so there's a little bit of that. And of course, Knott's also. There's some Knott's Berry Farm. I got a little Calico Mountain, the Calico Mine Ride, which uh, always very inspiring to me as a kid. So, I mean, the first steam engine I ever saw, the first train I ever saw was at Disneyland. And that kind of sparked a lifelong fascination with them. So that's, you know, that's, that's the reason for that. <laughs> There are three different railroads in this studio, and they're kind of just situated in different spots around the room. Yeah, each of the three railroads, is, well, they're very similar in nature, and yet also rather different from each other. Right. So this is the main railroad here, the Thunder Mesa Mining Railroad. This is the newest locomotive. Number 15, not painted or lettered yet, just running, running it in. And this is the namesake for the railroad, the Big Thunder Mine. <laughs> I love it. So this is the mine that ostensibly the railroad was built to service. Neat. So there are two main towns on the railroad. Uh, this one, the main town, which is Thunder Mesa, and it's sort of uh, very reminiscent of Frontierland at Disneyland. Oh, I'll say, look at that, including the depot. And at the far right, uh, Casa de Fritos. It's Festival Baracho. It's always Fiesta. They stole a case of uh, tequila from the uh, platform over here. And this is much more derived, I would say, of Knott's Berry Farms Calico Ghost Town. Right. Because it's sort of like shuffling a deck of cards. There's a little bit of everything all mixed together. Here. Oh, no. Well, he sure got my goat. Isn't that Jimmy? <laughs> Jimmy the dynamite eating goat from uh, the Andy Griffith Show. Absolutely. I think he's visiting our railroad as well. 
Well, they, they put him at Disneyland, at yeah, Big Thunder Mountain. They did. Dave's got him here on his railroad, and we've got him in, in the big canyon, too. Well, that's about the funniest thing I've ever seen on Andy Griffith, and it just seemed appropriate. And this reminds me of Steve's railroad. Everywhere you look, there's an outhouse. <laughs> What's with the legs sticking out of the window? Uh, watch that first step. It's a Lulu. And you know, while this whole thing is very, very whimsical, it's also some just amazing modeling. Oh, no kidding. Check this out. And if you notice there in the background, that's the Calico Ghost Town from Knott's Berry Farm. Oh, neat. It's the Grizzly Flats Depot. You know, most people know it as New Orleans Square Depot. Right. Or they might remember it as Frontierland mm -hmm. Depot. But it started off uh, as a movie set. Right. And then Ward Kimball got a hold of that movie set and used it as the depot on his Grizzly Flats Railroad, which is out in his backyard. Right. <laughs> it's, a, it's an amazing story, and here's a link to that. In fact, here's two links because we've actually done two different stories on the Grizzly Flats Depot. Right. Oh, and this is one of the great balancing rocks from Nature's Wonderland. Oh, neat. And the saguaro cactuses. Right. That were on, well, I mean, they're saguaro cactuses, so, you know, they're around. Yes. But they were such a prominent feature in Nature's Wonderland. Everyone remembers the balancing rocks and the saguaro cactuses. Right. And here are the hot springs from the Painted Desert, another very popular feature back during the days of the Nature's Wonderland, and Old Unfaithful Geyser. Oh, unfaithful. <laughs> and Dave has recreated that by putting a vape pen under the railroad with a little blower so that he can activate the vape pen. This is the best use I've ever seen for a vape pen. Right, it, that works really well, I like it. And here's the other major town on the railroad, Rainbow Ridge. That is so neat. Oh, that was one of my favorite places oh, yeah. in old Disneyland. A tiny, tiny amount of it survives to this day, but Dave has recreated pretty much the whole building front section from Rainbow Ridge. That is neat. His latest movie on his YouTube channel is actually building the general store for Rainbow Ridge. Right. And here is Big Thunder Mountain, uh, that replaced Nature's Wonderland Mine Train, and of course that's now the Thunder Mountain uh, Railroad uh, roller coaster. Oh, neat. Oh, and this is Cascade Peak. That was there from the opening day at Disneyland, and the original uh, mine train through Nature's Wonderland passed right through it, and when they built Big Thunder Mountain, they just boarded up the tunnel entrance and Dave has done the exact same thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> so there's the old original mine train ride to Nature's Wonderland all boarded up, just like it appears now at Disneyland. Yes, keep out. Keep out. <laughs> Danger. <laughs> oh, and here's Fowler's Landing. This is one of my most favorite little places at Disneyland. It's kind of one of those little hidden places. Right. But it's original to 1955. The builders of Disneyland, the people working on it, called it Fowler's Ditch. <laughs> because it was just this hole in the ground. But once they got it all dressed out as Fowler's Landing, well, it's just this amazing little pocket area there at Disneyland. It's oh, just fun, fun, it fun. It is. It's fun. Now here we can see Dave's uh, principal building technique. He layers the foam insulation board that you can get at Home Depot or whatever and builds up layer and layer and layer of that. And then he uses a, a Dremel with one of those metal grinding wheels on it and he carves the rock pattern into the foam 
and then just paints over that whole thing. Well, I like the look of it. Isn't that neat? Oh, it's wonderful. And then in this section, he hasn't finished it, so you can kind of see the technique. Right. Now, sometimes the stonework is simply left like this and painted, but more often than not, it's layered over with sculpt mold Oh. That plaster paper stuff you can buy at the craft stores. Right. And he fills in some of the cracks and gives it a little more texture while still see, leaving some of the foam areas just bare foam. Right. So he's got two different techniques going on here, just the carved foam and then the uh, sculpt mold over the top of that. Well, I love his technique. It looks perfect to me. Isn't that neat? Oh, I love it. And then the lighting effects just really bring it to life. And the painting technique that he's using, man, that looks good. And like everything else on the railroad, it's this just fun blending of realistic and whimsical. Right. It's just, I mean, I don't know where you'd find this exact kind of rock outcropping, but isn't that fun? Oh, it's fun. And here we can see in some areas, it's almost entirely the sculpt mold Right. It's totally layered over with sculpt mold and then the sculpt mold is shaped so that there's no sense at all of the underlying foam. He's done that here at the Calico Mine, which is, of course, from Knott's Berry Farm. But most of the foam here has been completely covered up with sculpt mold and textured. And Dave has developed a third technique, and this is the technique that I've been trying to duplicate on our railroad. It's the same as uh, the other. You, you layer the pink foam and then carve that, but then he comes back and carves it with one of those very soft wire brushes. Right. With like uh, brass bristles so that it doesn't just tear the foam apart, but it carves the stratification into the stone and doesn't that look neat it does and it even leaves like little pebbly things behind like i say i've been trying to duplicate this technique and i'm i'm getting close to it yes but i haven't been able to make it look as good as dave is doing here second railroad, uh, Gruesome Gulch. And this is the one where he's been using that new carving technique. Right. But oh, I love this little railroad. This just is turning out so nice. Yes, I think this is one of my faves right here. I love these little toast rack passenger cars, just like you'd find in an amusement park. Those are just fun. Yes. And all of these buildings that he's constructed here 
for the Main Street at Gruesome Gulch. Talk about fun. Oh, yeah, I just, Halloween, here we come. And all of them feature some kind of interesting little special effect with flickering lights or some kind of projection inside the building of ghosts floating around or right. any number of different things. Oh my, it's Skull Rock. Yeah, that was there at the original Disneyland. Yeah. And they tore it out years oh, ago. Dear. Darn it. Oh, and the Gruesome Gulch Depot here. Just a fun, fun. Everything here is just fun. It is. Whimsical and fun. And some terrific modeling. You walk by here and you just never know what's going to go floating past a window. And this is my favorite building, the Dry Goods uh, General Store, which has been burned out and is still slightly on fire. Oh, gee. I tried to capture the flickering down in there, but it just doesn't really show up on the video. This does, though. Oh, I know. This was just interesting. Fun ghosts in the water right. on the ground here. <laughs> it's a little digital projector about okay. this big, which is mounted down in the stand. Oh, got it. And, uh, it's, uh, it, and the animations themselves are from a, a company called Atmos FX, okay. which specializes in what they call digital decorations for oh, Halloween. Right. These are actually meant to be you know, on, a house, on a house or something. Or something. But, And Dave has actually started on a third railroad. He sure has. Well, this is a little uh, portable layout I've been working on called the Bandit Canyon Railway. And the idea here is it's sort of a, um, a portable version of Thunder Mesa that I can take to meets and shows and stuff like that because this is not portable, obviously. Uh, but it's ON18 instead of ON30. So it's O scale, quarter inch to the foot, but 18 inch gauge. Um, so you can use the end scale mechanisms and trucks and couplers and all that kind of stuff. Um, but you know, it's, it's, the theme here is it's a uh, kind of, um, hole in the wall, Butch Cassie and the Sundance Kid, you know, Southern Utah, uh, just fun stuff with of course a little bit Disney thrown in because there's balancing rocks and, <laughs> <laughs> and as we know, the magic really happens when the shadows fall. Right, look at this. You've got all these wonderful building lights. And Dave, look how many light flickering effects and stuff he's using here. And a thunderstorm. Right, I saw that flicker up on top of the ridge. I thought it was for real. This whole thing exists just to be delightful. Um, I created it, you know, just for fun. Uh, that uh, to create that that Christmas morning feeling, you know, when you come down the stairs and the, the tree's all decorated and the presents are under the tree. That you know, that recapture what it's like to feel, you know, that feeling that you have when you're a little kid. That's what it's all about.
Well, this was enormous fun. Yeah, what in the world are we doing? <laughs> Dueling selfies. Well, we both have, you know, a YouTube channels, so we're featuring each other in each other's channel. Oh, boy. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> but Dave showed us just a great time here on his railroad. Well, if you're not a subscriber, here comes your opportunity. Right there, the blue button. Well, we're not sure how you found this video on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring, and we will see you here on Tuesday. Right. We'll see ya. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.